What is going on everyone? It is your boy Kieran the Barber. Today we've got something special. It's not every day I like to make a full lap of myself. Uh, nah, maybe it is every day. But today I'm going to make an even bigger full lap myself. So I'm going to show you black mask. Now, how many people use black masks and who's seen them? They're everywhere at the minute. They're absolutely crazy. So, to give you an aspect of what black mask is and how it does it, I thought the best person to use it on was myself because I don't have the greatest skin in the world. I'm paler than a ghost and I get quite dry skin, especially in this weather at the minute. It's very cold. So, I'm going to be using a black mask on my face. I'm going to let you know how it all goes. Obviously, I'm going to go through it step by step. I hope you enjoy my video, guys. Please, please show everyone. Show everyone? Don't show everyone. Show me some love smash that like button and enjoy my video guys I'm ready to make a fool out of myself <laughs> well. so welcome right to my black mask treatment video. Now, what I'm gonna be doing in here is, I'm gonna be using, um, I've tried many different black masks, and I must say, for me personally, the Pillarton black mask is definitely, definitely the one you wanna be buying. It's um, non-hypoallergenic, it's um, really soft for the skin. All my customers who have used this absolutely swear by it, they love it. Um, it's a really, really good black mask. So now the fun part because obviously you get to see it being unboxed. Let me lift the camera up slightly. Or just zoom in slightly. Oh so sorry. So at the bottom of the box it has um, bits where you can just peel off, which make it a lot easier to get into this box. So don't try and go through the top, because the top's always hard. Make sure you go through this bottom part. Don't need that. Okay, so inside the box. We have the black mask. Now, how many of you guys have used black masks? It has a sealant. Always, always make sure with, with these products they have sealants. So they haven't been used or anything like that. Um, oh, you can look, look like you see it already coming out. Okay, so I'm about to treat myself to a black mask. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, and enjoy me looking stupid for the next 20 minutes. So, so a little bit surely. Just gonna get a little by little. Circular motions just on and around the head. You've got to make sure you um, put it on nice and thick as well. I've seen a few barbers who have just put it on, and you can you can't see that it's a black mask. It looks more like um. Do you know you get like a bin bag? It looks like that sort of bin baggy colour where it's like see-through. You don't want it to be like, you want it to be nice and thick. Now, the questions that I get asked the most with black masks are, does it work? Um, and I would say, definitely does work. Especially with me, I get quite, I've got quite big pores on my nose. Um, so I make sure I get all of that, and it definitely brings out my blackheads. Especially working in um, this industry, I say this industry, is there's a, a lot of sort of stuff when you're blow drying, what goes around, i.e. dry skin and and talc and, and just product build up, product use that you've got on your fingers and when you touch your face and stuff like that. Um, if you obviously don't wash your hands. So you have to be, obviously, this is a dirty job, especially like builders and stuff like that. So you just got to be, not got to be careful. It's weird. 
you've just got to treat yourself every now and again. That's the word I was looking for. Um, and this is a nice treat. I look like a really, really rubbish wrestler. El Blacko Masco. <laughs> but this is this video is more for anyone who hasn't used black mask. Who knows, wants to know what it does. What's the purpose for it? Does it sell well? My shop, my um, my clientele is based between. I would say my main clientele is based between 14 to 35 um, and a lot of the school kids. Last week I did 30 black masks, <laughs> 30, 30 of these bad boys, um, so I'm good at them. And now it's just going over, making sure it's all, like dark, making sure all the places are um, taken off and stuff. And I'm looking forward to you lot looking at me ripping this off because it's not, I don't know, it's, some people it doesn't hurt, some people it does hurt. What I would say is the tip for me is never ever rush it, never rush it, wait until it's fully dry because it definitely needs to be fully dry. Um, I've had it on my first few customers where I didn't charge them because I was just testing it out obviously and I was just, I'm not rushing it as such but I just was so excited to pull it off, huh, <laughs> lol, I was so excited to um, take the mask off that I, I think I did it a bit too early. So there's times like this in the shop, I've had, um, had a no-show which <laughs> Well, I was like, oh, I've got no show. I've got 40 minutes, 40 minutes to an hour now, where I can actually treat myself and chill out, catch up on some TV series. But no, for you guys, I am making a fool of myself on YouTube. So yeah. Now I'm going to let this set because you don't want to be watching my face for the next 20 minutes. I'm going to let this set and I'm going to come back with a set. I'm going to leave the camera right there. Sweet. Okay. So what have all been waiting for? Now you find a bit, I you can scratch off at a corner. You can see a corner just come straight off, um, or you can come from underneath and just pull off. I like to take one corner at a time. You can see already all the rubbish that it's, that it's picking off. Which is gross. It's not the pleasantest experience in the world, but it's not horrible. Now, I'm trying to zoom in on my nose. Look at that, that is disgusting. You see the little bits here what just didn't dry, just in time. Ah, uh, you can literally see all the stuff it's pulling out.
That is gross. My nails aren't dirty, by the way. It's, it's black mask. That is what that is. I just saw my nail on the camera. I was like, that's filthy. Well, this was the easiest part that people sort of kind of struggled with was how do I get the excess of the black mask treatment off? So what I do is I wet the corner of a towel. Uh, as simple as that. My skin feels so nice. I love doing this. I'm really lucky I get to treat myself like once a week to a black mask. And even after once a week, you saw how much stuff come off my face. I would definitely, definitely advise do a black mask in your shop. I mean, I have moisturiser or anything. My skin isn't the best skin in the world either, but. I mean, you can see how open my pores are, how much, how much that's taken out. It's madness. That's crazy. I can never zoom in on my face. <laughs> face is horrible to zoom into. A little bit there. It comes off, simple as that. Here we go. Oh, my skin feels so nice. It was bare nice, it was really soft. So guys, that was a black mask treatment um, by Pillerton. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below, how you can get it, where you can get it from, etc., etc. Go out, try it, or go down your barber shop or salon, whoever does it, and give it a try. Honestly, it feels amazing. I really, really hope you enjoyed my video. Um, have an awesome weekend or a weekday. Whatever you're doing right now, you're obviously watching me. So when you finish watching me, click on another one of my videos. And then after you finish that, go enjoy the rest of your day or night. Get some sleep. It's late. What are you doing up at this time? Get to bed. That's where I'm going.